The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. Just one week ago. It may look like it's small. We're just praying for children and all that. But I can tell you, God is taking record because that is the assignment He has given to you. I have not had peace. I have been living in fear. Who is saying something to you that is bringing discouragement to you, that is causing your eyes to be shifted away from the Lord Jesus? You allow the flower to grow and remain where it's meant to be. But your heart never completely left the flower pot on the altar. Just one hand cheek have been seen Pastor Mary in my dreams. Now, if I now attend this conference, huh? Ah, dear. Holy Spirit. All of the given to me, all you have given to me are laying back down. There's nothing that I have that you have not given to me, Father. I'm still hearing your voice. And Beatrice has high hope. When the voice of pains, betrayal, regrets is heard in the present as it was years before, then the voice has become a What's nightmare that truth? has suppressed the present voice. The only way for to speak is to write and that to attribute. The Overcomers Film Productions International presents a new evangelical movie titled The Tributes, produced and directed by Torin Fatchinson. This is not a tribute. Seen on Torin ESO Fatchinson's YouTube channel. Ha! Give them over to Jesus, oh. She has not been to church. Subscribe and click the notification bell for new uploads. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. Greatly to be 
be praised in the city of my God in the mountain of his holiness beautiful for situation the joy of the whole heart is Montai of the side of the north the city of the great king Montaigne of the side of the north, the city of the great men, everybody sing. And grandly to be praised, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And the mountain, beautiful, 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 beautiful for all situations, the joy of the share with us um, from the scriptures the story of a young man Joseph and I want us to look at the topic today your service when you are not recognized your service when you are not recognized and we look at Genesis chapter 40 Genesis chapter 40 verse 4 if you are there, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll read. They spent a long time in prison, and the official in charge of the palace guard made Joseph their servant. Joseph was in prison, and as if that was not bad enough, he is a servant. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Joseph is a servant in prison. What is the quality of your service when you are not recognized? When you don't like the position that you are in? This is Joseph, he has to serve in prison. And remember, this is for a crime that he did not commit. He is to serve different kind of people. Murderers, thieves, rapists different kind of people and must make sure they are well fed, they are clothed, they sleep at the time. What kind of service do you offer when you don't like the position, when you are not recognized? What is the quality of your service? And that's why God said, he says that, he said, have you seen a man who is diligent? He will stand before kings and not before men. Not before me. It is the diligence. It is the diligence of your service. That is what will take you to kings. But when you are you don't like it, are you diligent? Someone say I will be diligent. I will be diligent. I will be diligent. I will be diligent. Say I will serve diligently. I will serve diligently. I will serve diligently. I will serve so I, I I put it to you today. That regardless of the position, serve diligently. Serve as unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. You say, Father, Father, help me to serve diligently. 
Give me the spirit of diligence. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, man. Say that, Father, Lord, help me to serve diligently. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me to serve diligently. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Oh, Father, we thank you. We bless your wonderful name for sharing your word with us concerning diligence. We pray that the spirit of diligence will dwell in us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let's share the praise and fellowship. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Surely, God has been for us all the days of our lives. And we shall have to love forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Mr. Blessing, wait, I want to see you. How are you? How are you doing? Are you sure? You look so dull. What's wrong? No, I don't. Uh, no, nothing. I'm okay. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes. yes okay. Oh, sister, ah, yes, blessing. You look perfect. I'm okay, okay, see, you've been such an amazing person. You've been a blessing to me in particular. I mean, you're so diligent. It's so funny. You're so diligent. And it has made me pattern my life after Christ. God bless you, Sister Blessing. God bless you. I'm so proud of you. Please keep on the good work. God will reward you. Keep on the good work. Thank you. Thank you for blessing my life. Thank you, Sister Blessing. God bless you. God bless you. Please keep doing the good work. Don't stop, okay? God bless you. I'll see you next time, okay? Ah, Sister Blessing of the most time. Ah, ah, ah. How are you doing, man? I'm sorry. The way, the, way, the way you inspire me is just so mind-blowing. The way you combine ministry with education. I don't know. How, how do you do it? Oh God. We continue at least strengthen you in the mighty name of God. God will keep you to the very end. Amen. I just want to be like the Jesus in you. Ah, glory to God. God will continue to name, uh, uphold you to the very end. Amen. You will empower you to the Amen. very end in the mighty name God will be with you in the mighty name Have an amazing day. Man. Thank you, sir. Lives and I didn't know. I was going to give pastor this paper and the other saw. Ah. Oh my God. God had mercy on me. God had mercy on me. So that's how I would have missed out on what God is doing. Ah, God had mercy on me. understand your what uh, this uh, man eh, what they have against you and um, Mr. Kingsley and Mr. Amos yes. are they not supposed to be ministers? Ah. I think you said that they are deacons in their church. Yes. So why are they fighting you because you gave an honest report at your place of work? You remember during the last dinner party in our company they were telling me, both of them, that I should join them in drinking beer. Alcohol. I mean... The Bible says that the foundation of God stands sure. With this seal, it says, let everyone that name it, the name of God, the platform, platform in iniquity. iniquity. I think that's the second Timothy chapter 2. Okay, verse 19. You see? So are they not reading their Bible, or they are just reading it and not following it? Eh? And we are not just supposed to be reading the Bible, but we are supposed to be patterning our life according to the word of God. Yes. Dear, don't let anything they say discourage you from this way. Don't let anything they, you know, they talk about or they do, you know, make you to turn back from the way that you have known, which is the way of Christ. You have been patterning your life after Christ. That is our standard in this home. And we continue to do so. Whether we are in Africa or we are in Europe, the standard of God is the same. But they are thinking that we are in the free world that we should just live our life anyhow. We can't live our life anyhow. Because this earth where we are is not our final destination. Yes. When Jesus Christ was going in John chapter 14, he said, I am going to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And the place that Christ has gone to prepare is not a place for, you know, for compromising Christians. Mm -hmm. So we are to live our life according to Christ. 
And you know that is our watchword. I is Jesus living his life. What will Jesus do? That is what it means to have a pattern life. A life pattern after Christ. Mm -hmm. So we Jesus have shot, you know, uh, will 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 have cheated uh, his company if we were here on earth. Why do they have the? Why do they have problem in you adding all the all the remaining cents together and giving the report? But the, you know today they say that taking the Christianity too, too much and that I'm going too far, too spiritual. In what fact, too spiritual yeah, about that. If we do not go too far, how are we going to make it to heaven? Jesus went too far for us. He went as far as dying for us on the cross of Calvary. So we should take it too far so that we will make it to heaven. Yeah, I told them about the Matthew chapter 5 verse 20 that except your righteousness exceeds those of Pharisees and Sadducees, <laughs> you shall know why enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I told them, they were telling me hey, that was the old time that we are in the new world now. Which I mean, there's Our righteousness no. must exceed, so we must go far with God. And do you know something? I don't even see the big deal in everything they are shouting about. That you gave a, an honest report back to the company, you return the change, you don't sit down with them and what club. have I been paid for? <sighs> or you don't sit down with them and do um, club with them. Mm -hmm. Or the way you said they were having a fashion, maybe you said you caught uh, the King Kingsley with one of your staff. Eh? Inappropriate uh, situation. I mean, don't let me think about that. I <laughs> she, you understand? So all these things should not even be mentioned among us at all. At all, at all. We should just live our life the way Christ is living it. We're not trying to be sanctimonious or whatever. Should be every day we are asking God that Lord give us the grace to live our life after you. Yeah, I know it is not easy. Even me. You know, I told you the challenges I've been having at my oh, place no, of work. Remember, yeah. You remember my niece, yes. blessing in Ukraine. Yes. She told me the same thing too. That, you know, everybody is looking at her as if she has put this Jesus thing, that she's taking it too far. And we just have to encourage ourselves. ourselves. The fact that everybody is going this way does not mean that is the right way. It's the same Bible that says, follow not the multitude to do evil. Ah, no, we refuse to follow the multitude to do evil. And as far as I'm concerned, you have not done anything extraordinary. The extraordinary thing there, you know, why I said it is nothing extraordinary is that anybody that claims to be a child of God must live like Christ. So you should be part and parcel of our life. And God will continue to help us. Amen. You yeah. understand? I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind that I will continue to pattern my life after Jesus Amen. Come what me. Amen. I will Amen. not compromise. You know the rule, even in my place of work, is that mm -hmm. what will Jesus do? My colleagues at all. Yes. Many of those ladies are single ladies now. Mm -hmm. They're single mothers now. Do you know why? Because every one of them is just fighting with their husband and they are calling the police on their husband and sending men out. My dear, I will not do that. I know that marriage is not easy, it's a joke. Amen. And Jesus has never failed, and he will not fail now. Amen. He will help us to help us. There will be encouraged. Amen. I trust in God Amen. in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I bless you, Holy Name. Thank you, Father, for this encouragement. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are making up our mind to continue to pattern our lives yes, Lord. after you, Lord Jesus, yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Amen. Come what me. Mm. We will not bow to the pressures in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are asking for your grace mm. to continue to represent you yes, in Lord. all areas of our lives everywhere in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, continue to glorify yourself in our lives in mm. the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you, prayer. Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Thank that you, is why I'm encouraged once again. Continue to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. And we continue to ask for God's grace and strength to mm -hmm. always strengthen us.
something is so unbelievable. Ah, I never knew that people are actually looking at my life. Ah, eh? Come to think of it, I was going to drop this file or the Bible study and everything. I don't even want to be here and let HOD anymore. Eh? I just thank God that the pastor spoke. That even if you are not being noticed, ah, Lord, serving God when you are not being noticed. You see, I felt unnoticed. I felt people are not appreciating me. They don't see what I'm doing. So why should I continue? Ah, if not for God. But that sister that just spoke to me, he told me the things that God is doing in their life through me. How they want to pattern their life according to Jesus because of me. Ah, Lord, help me. Help me to continually pattern my life according to you so that people will see you in me continually. Ah, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me. I'm really sorry for I want you to give up. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Ah, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Ah, Lord, forgive me. I receive grace to continue in you, to pattern my life according to Christ. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Give me grace to do more for you, Lord. Give me grace, oh Lord. I receive grace to pattern my life according to Christ in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Oh, thank you for grace. Thank you for strength. Oh Lord, I thank you. Ah, your name be praised, oh Lord. Your name be glorified. Thank you. The mountain. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, I give you grace. I give you honor and adoration. Ah, thank you so much for your grace and mercy. Oh, oh, that's Janet. Hello, Ma. <laughs> Hello, blessing. How are you? Oh, God bless you real good. Just like your name, in Jesus' name. How is everything? I'm fine. Well, everything is fine. We thank God. You know, I've been thinking about what you discussed with me the other time. And um, I just want to encourage you to keep living for the Lord. Yes, ma. So just like what you discussed with me the other time. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 says, Remember the Lord your God in the days of your youth, before the even day comes. You see, there is a time called even days that will still come. So even right from now, you know, even right from now, I know you have met the Lord before you came to Ukraine for your masters. And right from secondary school, you have met from the Lord. But I want you to continue in that pattern and in that way. Right from now, continue to love and serve the Lord and continue to walk after Him. I think you told me you are the Bible study coordinator in your fellowship, right? Yes, ma. Yeah. Keep doing the work. Keep believing for Jesus. See, the way you are living now might not be popular to many. And people might be, and you might be wondering, but I'm still young. I can enjoy my life. I can do anything that I like, you know. And you might think those who are not in Christ are getting everything, you know, just on their, you know, on their fingertips like that. But my dear niece, it's not like that. Yes, ma. The best thing you can do for yourself is to invest your youth in the Lord and to spend your time for the Lord. You are not too young to serve the Lord. And you have to continue in the pattern that you have been raised with. You know me now, your auntie. I've been serving the Lord since I'm a young girl. Living my life to please Him. And everything I ever dream of having, I got it right in serving the Lord. Mm. So my dear niece, just like Apostle Paul said to Timothy, in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12, that do not let anyone despise your youth, 
but be that an example to believers. Even as you are there, I want you to be an example to believers. Love the Lord, serve Him with everything. Okay? Don't give up on God because God will not give up on you. Yes, my understanding. Amen. 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 And by the way, I sent you some money. Have you seen it? Yeah. I made a direct transfer to your account. Ma, I really want to thank you. Thank you so much. I saw the money. God bless you, Ma. The Lord will increase you on all sides. Thank you so much, Ma. Oh, thanks be to God. I hope you are hearing from your mom. Uh, yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. Okay? I'll keep praying for you. Ah, I just came back from class not quite long. I do, in fact, just a few, few moments ago. Yes, ma, it was fine. Everything is fine. Yes. Don't forget, I was to Paul said to Timothy that do not let anyone despise you, but be an example. Even right from now, you can be an example. God bless you. All right. Please keep in touch. I'll continue to pray for you, okay? Take care, my dear. God bless you. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Mr. David William. All right, sir. Okay. Right, sir. Okay. That's fine, sir. Okay, sir. I will get to it as soon as I finish this conversation with you. Okay. Yes, sir. Work is going well, sir. We're doing fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll do our best, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Peter? Yeah, it's me. How are you? Good. I want you to please do something for me. I need at least four people to give me testimony about Mr. David Williams. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two departments is fine. Doesn't have to be all the departments. Two departments, yes. Two people in each department. And for fairness, you make it two men, two women, like a man and a woman in one, in one department, a man and a woman in the other department, yes. Yeah. And uh, I think it would be good if you make one written and one verbal. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, we're fine here. Yeah. About Mr. Williams' character? Yes, um, 
in my opinion, Mr. Williams have an unquestionable character. I've had an opportunity to work with him in some couple of transactions that we had together and uh, he took complete details of minute, minute, minute things. Ordinarily things I would have summed up as miscellaneous, Mr. Williams took them into consideration and gave every item um, the, the, the amount that is due to every item and it really amazed me. So he's very trustworthy, he has a very high integrity and he's a man that you, we can, you can count on. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Bye. Yes, uh, I think this is the file that you've been asking for. Yes, I yeah. really need it. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. Thank is, there, you. is there anything else that you need? No, 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 no. That's all. Ah, Thank okay, you. Okay, okay. Thank okay. You so Enjoy. I hope it's going well with the project. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a lot of work, but. Okay, I'll let you continue on. Thank you. Ah, okay. Hello? Yes. That's all right. I'll get to it right away. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Bye. when you open the door. Dear, are you? <sighs> Talk to me. Dear. Dear. Yes? I'm a mist. <sighs> Thank God. My manager came to my desk today. There's no problem. He said I'd be given an award in few this time. Wow, 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 wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Award for you? Ha! This is great. This is just great. Tell me more about Dear, it. I never knew my co-workers have been observing me for so many years. Wow. Wow. My manager told me that my Jesus. regional manager has received some recommendation from other co-workers about me. Regional manager? Yes. Receiving recommendation? Yes. From other co-workers? Yes. Does that mean they did a secret survey from the regional that, that, office? That, that is the meaning. <laughs> he Jesus. told me that They've been, I mean, they are so amazed about my hard work, my, about my diligence, my, about my, they, they just concluded that I had, I have a different spirit. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, dear, you have a different spirit. Yes. And that is the spirit of Christ. That is the spirit that is in you. It's different from every other, every other spirit. Eh? That make you to be exceptional. Just like what the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 says, you know, that Daniel and his friend, that they what? They noticed that the spirit of excellence was in them. Yes. And what was the spirit of excellence, my dear? The way they went about doing their work. So as children of God, we should be ambassadors of God too. Because Christ Jesus carried the spirit of excellence. Yes. But you know what strikes me, my dear? Is that they have been watching you secretly. And you know this is what the Bible always says to us. Now, who are we when no one is watching? Yes. You know, dear, remember what I told you about Pastor Amos in our place of work? Oh. 
He told me specifically that I should just slow down, that I should do my work anyhow, that I should not be so diligent in my assignment. But look at what is happening now. And you know what, what my and, dear? And you remember what I told you about Pastor Amos? Mm -hmm. That Pastor Amos is not following the scripture. You know that time your region, uh, your manager was not around? Yes. And it was like, just leave it. And he, he will leave the job undone. All in the name that he's going to fellowship, he's going to church, he's going to get the work done and everything like that. But at the end of the day, does he not receive the salary? Do you know what the Bible even tells us about slave and master? That we should not do eye service. Yes. Thank God for the spirit of God in you. Look at it now. You know that was about two years ago. Yes. <laughs> but you know what now? Yes. When my manager, <laughs> you know, when he told me mm. about the award, mm. and I was just thanking God, and he told me that I'll be given family vacation. Wow. All expenses paid. Wow. Then a wow. car. Hey. So we're getting a new car. Hey, <laughs> Jesus is Lord. And you know what? He told me that I'll be sent to for trainers in the US and yeah. Canada. Really? Yeah. Father, thank you. Thank and not you. only that, some other bonuses so. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Dear, ha, I thank God for your life. You know all those times that Pastor Imos and the other and the other Christians at your place of work, they were doing any of you are saying like, you know, like, uh, like somebody who is not wise. Do I you know? remember when Clement told me, but mm -hmm. I kept Clement, he said I'm a fool. Do you understand? Can you just imagine? But look at it now. Following the scripture, living the life of Jesus can be foolishness to others. It can look like foolishness to others. But for us, oh my Jesus. But for, for us as children of God, we must continue to live that righteous life. You understand? Mm -hmm. you, and you know the Bible even says that the message of the cross is foolishness to them that are perishing, my dear. But I bless God mm -hmm. that we continue in the word of God. Because as a child of God, when you are given a job to do or, or something to do, you must be diligent there. Mm -hmm. And it does matter what you do when nobody is looking. Yes. Now, not even knowing that your co-workers were watching you. Look at God now. I mean, Coming you remember the us. conference now last year when the pastor, when that pastor that came from the US told mm. her that he talked about the pattern, living our life after Jesus Christ, mm. patterning our life after Jesus Christ. And I mean, I will never forget that message. And he said that everywhere we are, we should pattern our life after Jesus. Mm. Everywhere, everywhere mm. we are, we should just pattern our life after Jesus. And live in accordance to his will and to his way. I just give thanks to God, my dear. Thank God, thank God. I thank God that you will obey the word of God. Yes. And it is coming true for us now. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, hey. Thank you, Jesus. And thank God. we pray for more grace to be more diligent too. Amen. Do you know what is coming to my mind now, dear? Yes. Is that this is the same way. Some people will think God is not watching and they are living their life anyhow. And that God is not looking at what we are doing. Do you know that some people still believe that Jesus is not coming again? They believe they can just live anyhow. Not knowing that, you know, the silent judge, the, you know, the, the God of all yeah. is putting into record everything we are doing. Yeah. If earthly masters, people around us, hmm, they, are, they could just be taking it into record and you are not even aware how much more the god of the whole heart the one that sits above the circles of the hearts mm -hmm. how much more yeah. it's just like the way the book of record was remembrance was opened for Mordecai, mm. and god opened it before me mm. thank you jesus thank you jesus lord help us help us just help us to be faithful Help us to be diligent. Mm -hmm. Help us to continue to live our life patterned after you. Eh? At work, at home, in everything. Doing. Wow.
That's great. I'm so happy. Did you hear about Sister Blessing's um, success? Oh my God. It's mind blowing. Yes. I mean, look at how God rewarded our diligence. Ah, oh my goodness. I'm challenged. I am so challenged. Yes. I mean, look at, ah, look at how the, the suffering, the diligence, I mean, to think of it, <laughs> she's, she is so diligent. Look at how it paid off. Indeed, the, the suffering of now is nothing compared to the glory. Look, haven't you noticed? I've, I've, I've been diligent lately. Ah, seeing her and everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm still serving this God. I'm going to continue serving the Lord. Yes, it's, it's been awesome. God has been faithful. I pray that God help us, okay? God, God will help us. We need to be so diligent in everything and pattern our lives after Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, may God help us. Okay, there. It's so good to talk to you. All right, have a great day. Take good care of yourself. Bye. And don't forget to press into this grace. Okay, have a great day. Okay, all right. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oof. God, you just have to help. Help me, Lord. Help me to be diligent. Daddy, please help me to be diligent, Lord. I really want to serve you, Lord. Help me to submit. Grant me the grace to be diligent. Oh, God, please. I cannot do this by myself, Lord. You have to help me. Help me, please. In the end of days, Daddy, I submit all. Lord. You are the word. You are the song that I sing. You are the melody. melody. You are the eye. harmony. Praise to your name I bring. Praise to your name I bring. You are the mighty, mighty God. God. Lord of Lord. Lord of Lord. The King of all. King of all. Now I return to you the song for you gave to me. You are the song that I sing. Now I return to you the song for you gave to me. Oh. You are the giver, I return it to you. I return to yeah, the sovereign you gave to me. Now I return to you, yeah. The sovereign you gave to me. This is another hand of the year. What is going on? For three years in a row. Mr. David Williams has been the only one getting the, the outstanding workers of the year. Everybody gave by what is going on? Sometimes I get to think, is God partial? Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. It's, it makes no sense. Everybody keep recommending him for award. Everybody in the company. What is going on? Oh, hello, the King Kingsley. Yes, sir. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. A compliment of the season. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Have you ever thought why everybody keep recommending Mr. David Williams as the only outstanding workers of the year for the past three years? Past three years, consecutively. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fairness to... Mr. Williams David, 
Is my own life is different from the life that we are living? It's so good. But I'm also a Christian. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williams David lives a life that is patterned to the Bible. He lives it to the letter. He lives that life to the letter. Yes. You know, Mr. Williams David, he is a dutiful man. He is a straightforward man. And uh, he is not a pretender like some of us. Mm -hmm. So we need to truly examine our life and follow after Christ. Okay? Oh, that is food for thought. Yes, I think every, every Christian needs to know that. Oh, it is serious. We would not like to be the first, the best workers of the year, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I think I will pray too and work on that. Hmm, God will need to help us. Yeah, God will need to help. We will work on that. My, oh, my regard to your family. And compliment of the season too. <laughs> Enjoy the best. And I hope by the, the grace of God, next year God will look on us too when we have done the right thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wow. So this man has been faithful, true, true. Mm, there is no need for competitions. He is doing the right thing. Mm. We should be an example. Not only in the church, even in the at workplace. Okay, food for thought indeed. Good day, madam. Hello. Oh, yeah, it's me, Mr. David. How are you? Yeah. I'm just calling to congratulate you. You know? Really, really, you know, happy for you. Congratulations. How are you? Oh, I bet you're super happy. Yeah. Thank you. I must confess I'm really impressed, you know, about what people said. You know, the four people that were called to testify about you, they all said the same thing. Wow, that's impressive. And even other people that we didn't call, they were all saying, oh yeah, they were in agreement to everything that was said. Thank you once again. I was really struck by all the testimonies. And it can only be called. And you know, I must let you know that uh, you are different among all the religious people in the office here. You are... It's not by living a religious life. It's just by living after Christ. Patterning our lives after Christ. And if anyone is in Christ, all things will become new. In the place of work, in the family, everywhere. 
you live a life pattern after Christ? What does that mean? Mrs. Johnson, I, I, I just desire that you become a true child of God. Oh, okay. I see. And that's why you are different. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about me for now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, it's just part. If you, if you are in Christ, the grace to pattern your life after Christ will be given to you. I pray the Lord will take control. Okay, Mr. William. I'm going to think about it. Is that okay? Okay, I will think about it. Just give me some time. I will think about it. But anyway, congratulations again. I'm happy for Thank you. Okay. I will think about it. But anyway, congratulations again. I'm happy for you. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. What does this man mean? He's not just religious. It's living a life patterned after Christ. Huh? No. Thank you for all the testimonies. I return all the glory to you, Lord. Lord, help me to continue to pattern my life after you. But, to be honest, is completely different. And that is a very rare thing. Like you call five people and they all said the same. You know, same thing. It's truly different. To represent you here in my place of work, at home, every year. A life pattern after Christ Jesus. Lord, I need your grace. Lord, I commit my boss into your hand. Mrs. Johnson, transform her life. Reveal yourself to her that you are the Lord and you are her Savior. Lord, have mercy upon her in the mighty name of Jesus. I've sown the seed in her heart. Lord, let it germinate.